this is the piece that I published in the Times Union. It's a it's about mm, the, mm, mm, the king's uh, uh, speech. I stutter, and I knew that when the movie came out, that I had a platform to say something. And this is what I said. Audiences have rolled. The king's speech demands to be heard, depicting the true struggles of King George VI and the stammer that threatened his identity and his crown. As the film broadens its reign over the box office and award shows, it's also given voice to a segment of the population that often doesn't have one. Stuttering affects 1% of adults worldwide. In 1936, King George VI spoke England, but in 2011, he speaks for all of us who stammer our way through life. This it, this isn't the first conversation Hollywood has has had about stuttering. And stuttering characters like the public defender and my cousin Vinny have long been dust hit off for comic relief. Communication disorders are, are rare, in that in that there is difficult to suffer from, as they are easy to mock. But the King's speech was to be different. We wouldn't be the punchline, but the foundation for the film. With that came a responsibility to ensure that the that the right story was was being told. It wasn't. Earth deserved the best actor Golden Globe that he received. And if there's any justice, he'll take the Oscar. His stammer was painful to watch. Hard to hear and difficult not to pity everything it need be. When Ferdy, not yet crowned King George the Sixth, stood in Westminster Abbey and shouted, he had a voice worth hearing. My chest tightened, my eyes welled, and my breath was taken. I am a 28 year old adult female flutter, a unicorn among my own people. The stuttering effects four times as many. Males as females. My stutter, my stu stutter showed itself at age five, replacing innocence with adult burden. And curling up into my father's lap at age seven to whisper, to whisper restaurant orders, the fifth grade teacher who fought to have me removed from her class, the, the feared look in the told eyes when I offered a broken hello to their untainted children. These are my images. And they were to be my fate until I decided it was enough. Reclaiming a voice I wasn't sure I deserved simply by using it without shame. Each time Parody opened his mouth and words failed, that is me. But then Hollywood <laughs> takes over. We see Parody hesitant to open up to speech therapist <clears throat> down the lobe and accept him as an equal. Parody's speech only improves when he embraces Logue and confesses his childhood. Demons. We're shown as some, as some manifestation of these tra traumas that, that are the root of the stammer. We, we see how having Logue snugly by his side makes Ferdy more comfortable, more fluent. We see the abuse, we see the stammer, we, we make the, the connection, mm, the wrong connection. Creating the, uh, creating the untrue stigma that stutters or walking abuse victims is damaging to the three million Americans who suffer from the <laughs> disorder. This theory of stuttering was popularized by Freud in the, li in the late 1800s when he linked Fra Emmy von Enns' stammer to, his to, hysteri to hysteria and traumatic events in her past. He believed she was concealing painful inf information, making her unable to speak. This theory, will this theory wasn't broken in time for King, King George VI, but in 2011 it's downright archaic. The true cause of stuttering is messier and largely unknown. What researchers do know is that a stutterer's brain works differently. Stutterers display higher activity in the area of the brain that controls speech movements, making it difficult for the brain to process the information and account for the correct movements. The result is just fluent <coughs> speech. It doesn't pack, doesn't pack quite the same. I would punch, but that's the truth. 
and it's important, as barbaric as it is to watch Colin first character stuff marbles into his mouth, it's equally wrong to assume that a older skill deficit equates drama. Brady's Brady's speech does him prove because he's con he's confessed to demons, but, but, but because he's been taught in tricks to manipulate his the stutter. The typical stutter spends her day fighting an overactive brain and benefits not from Hollywood's dramatic liberties and reasoning. If there's a lesson in the king's speech, it is to look us in the eye, to listen to what we have to say, and to allow us the dignity, the, 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 the dignity to say it in, 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 in our distinct voice. In real life, the stutters don't master their speech just in time for the all-important word time address. The best they can hope is to learn to manage it and accept it. It's out of Hollywood ending, but it's ours.